The fallout from the radioactive water leak at the damaged Fukushima nuclear power plant is spreading. South Korean officials have announced that all fishery imports from areas in eastern and northeastern Japan will be banned starting Monday. They say consumers are becoming increasingly concerned that the marine parks could be contaminated. NHK World's Masaki Otake has more. South Korea has banned imports of Japanese marine products containing certain levels of radioactive substances since the 2011 nuclear accident. But officials say this new ban applies to all products. We've decided to ban all imports of marine products from eight prefectures in Japan, including Fukushima. South Korean officials say they took the step because it's difficult to assess contamination levels using only data provided by Japan. But the Japanese government says it already has strict safety controls. It says all marine products for export meet international standards. Shipments are banned when tests uncover radiation levels above safety standards. So no tainted products are being sold on the market. South Korea's ban has left many people in the Japanese fishing industry worried about their futures. We've been telling South Korea that we want to provide consumers with a sense of security by testing a number of fish. So we're let down by this announcement. We want the government to provide information appropriately and do all it can to ensure that we don't suffer any reputational damage. Officials at Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority admit they did not disclose all information on radioactive substances leaking into the sea from Fukushima Daiichi, but they've promised full transparency from now on. Disclosing accurate information is crucial, but the data we provided was not sufficient. The agency has uploaded data about water leaks and radioactive materials in the sea onto its website in English. It also plans to send the data to foreign correspondents and embassies in Japan. Masaki Otake, NHK World, Tokyo. Japan's main fishermen's association is asking the government to do something about South Korea's ban. The head of the association has sent a petition to Japanese industry minister Toshimitsu Motegi. We are really concerned about the South Korean ban. We want the government to provide information appropriately and do all it can to ensure that we don't suffer any reputational damage. Hori Shikishi is also urging the government to act immediately to stop the leaks of contaminated water from the Fukushima Daiichi plant. We intend to make it possible for fishermen to restart their work as soon as possible in a peaceful state of mind. Japan's industry minister says the government will lead efforts to quickly stop the leaks. Earlier this week, it pledged about $470 million to build a containment wall around the nuclear plant. Japan's top government spokesperson says his country has imposed strict safety controls on marine products and other food. He says these products meet international standards. Shipments are banned when tests uncover radiation levels above safety standards. So no tainted products are being sold on the market. He called on South Korea to use science as the basis of its decisions about how to deal with Japanese food imports. The radioactive water leaks from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant are raising concerns in the Asian region. People in these countries are worried about the safety of uh, Japanese food. South Korea's ruling party has proposed a ban on imports of Japanese marine products. An export, bla uh, expert rather, blames a lack of explanation for the action. On the impact of the accident on marine uh, organisms, NHK World's Yoichiro Tatehiwa has more. The situation at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant seems to be worsening two and a half years after the accident. The operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company, admits 
that radioactive groundwater has been discharged into the sea. The government is taking steps to prevent groundwater from seeping into the ocean. TEPCO officials have found high levels of contamination at the port inside the premises of the nuclear plant. But they say the contaminated water has been shielded and will not leak into the sea. In fact, monitoring of the ocean has not detected any high levels of radioactive contamination. Professor Jota Kanda has been studying ocean contamination of Fukushima since the accident. He says other countries have not had a chance to properly assess the data. People outside Japan don't have basic data, such as the levels of contamination of seawater and marine organisms and what regulations the government has imposed. The prefectural government is restricting coastal fishing and measuring radiation levels in fish catches. It is also restricting shipments of fish caught offshore. Shortly after the accident, radiation levels higher than the government's safety limit of 100 becquerels per kilogram were found in more than 50% of fish catches. This figure has dropped to 2% now. Japan's safety limit of 100 becquerels per kilogram is the toughest in the world. And local government officials say there is no problem with the safety of fish shipped from the prefecture. The concerns are still being raised at home and abroad. Kanda is critical of the way TEPCO and the Japanese government are dealing with the issue. People around the world see the Japanese as trying to understate the impact of the Fukushima accident. They think we just keep saying our food is safe without showing them any proof. And I see their point. He says, it will be difficult to dispel people's concern if TEPCO and the government don't change their response. Radioactive substances still remain in the sedimentary soil under the sea. We still don't know how harmful it is. The situation is better than on the land. But the concerns of people in other countries are quite understandable. We need more transparency in research. Once we obtain credible data, we must share them with other countries immediately. That's the only way we can regain their trust. Kanda says the participation of foreign researchers in the study of Fukushima will help to increase the credibility of the research. He believes the only way the Japanese government can restore confidence is to conduct a thorough study and disclose the result to the world. Officials from Japan's fisheries agency are calling for talks with their counterparts in South Korea. They want to discuss a ban on imports of seafood from Fukushima and seven other prefectures. Japanese fishermen are upset about the decision. A top representative from the country's biggest fishermen's association met the fisheries agency chief on Tuesday. We want to ask for the government's effort and support so the ban will be lifted as soon as possible. Hiroshi Kishi says information on the safety of Japanese seafood should be made public as soon as possible. Fisheries Agency Chief Kazuyoshi Honkawa says Japan has already urged South Korea to reconsider the ban. He says Japanese officials want to hold working level talks. Officials will have their work cut out for them in Fukushima. The operator of the nuclear plant says contaminated water from a leaked tank may be spreading. Workers detected a spike in the level of radioactivity in groundwater near the container. Engineers with Tokyo Electric Power Company estimate that more than 300 tons of contaminated water leaked last month from a storage tank near the number four reactor. They say some of it may have seeped into the ocean through a drainage system. 
On Sunday, workers collected water from a new well that they dug near the tank. They found 3,200 becquerels of strontium and other radioactive substances per liter. That's five times higher than levels found last week in a sample taken from another well. Workers are planning to dig more wells to determine the extent of the contamination.